Welcome to Pyrex screencast. In this screencast I'll show you how to get started using Pyrex. Pyrex has this Autodoc tab under Navigator panel that is used to store ligands and macromolecules and during the screencast I'll show you how to prepare a ligand then use Autodoc wizard to run the docking. Let's go to File, Load Molecule and I'll read one of the PDB files I have on my local hard drive called 1hsg.pdb I'll use my middle mouse button to zoom in one hsg is a PDB for HIV protease and it has two chains, chain A and chain B and on the third chain here it used to store water molecules as well as this molecule here which is called indinever and which is FDA approved HIV protease inhibitor right click on this chain and select autodoc make ligand it creates this file under ligands folder that we can use later on for docking for now I'll just remove all the molecules from here right click on this molecule and select remove I'll remove this molecule as well for the next part of this tutorial I'll need to import sample data set from the web so I'll go to file import select workspace tarball remote file click next click finish to start downloading this data This sample dataset contains pre-computed auto grid map for HIV protease as well as the docking log file where I run auto grid with indinever as a ligand and HSG1 as a macromolecule. When the download is finished we'll see newly created PDBQT file for the ligand and the HSG1 folder where we can see the autogrid map uh, as well as the hsg1.pdbqt file. For the next part I'll use this autodoc wizard and currently I have only the remote execution mode enabled because I don't have the local version of autodoc installed. Click start to go to the next page. Here I'll need to select the ligand. I'll select this one. Click forward select the macromolecule click forward again and this will bring us to run autogrid page where we can select the grid box for autogrid here Pyrex has selected some defaults for the grid box and luckily it has the active site for HIV protease in it if you'd like to change these defaults you can drag on these handles or move this grid. Cl click reset to reset everything to defaults. When I click to forward it can run auto grid if auto grid maps are not available. If they are available they will be used for the next step. If you would like to rerun the auto grid you can click on this run auto grid button here. So I'll click forward to go to the next step. This is run auto grid page and we here we can choose among four different docking algorithms. Here we can also modify docking parameters, but for this tutorial I'll leave everything to default and go to the next page. This is the final page which is called analyze result and here we can see the table of the dog results with the binding energies and when you select a row from this table the appropriate confirmation here are updated right click on any of this row and select create clustering histogram this will create this histogram where you can see on the x-axis the energy and on the y-axis the confirmation you can navigate the docking using by clicking on any of these bars here and it will update appropriate confirmation on the 3D viewer and select appropriate row from this table. This concludes this first screencast. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.